We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hey guys, we're gonna talk a little bit today about shooting off of a tripod. With the growing popularity of tripods and hunting, people ask questions about the attachment to the tripod. So we're gonna show you three different ways. You can clip it into the ARCA rail, shoot off of a bag on a tack table, or shoot from a pig or a hog saddle. The question is, what do you think is gonna be the best? I thought it would take a little more time than some of the other methods, but it went really quick. I'm not actually managing the interface between the rifle and the anvil head. So there's more than just shooting one target off of a tripod. It's the ability to track a target or move between targets that really is gonna show part of the difference as well as the management of recoil. Here we're gonna start on a deer target at 575 yards. We're gonna fire one round. Then we're gonna to transition to an IPSC target at 600 yards, and we're gonna fire one round on that. From this, we'll see the difference in management of recoil, as well as how easy it is to transition from one target to another. So to make this a fair assessment, we're gonna start with the rifle in hand, and then we're gonna click in, or set onto, or clamp in to the apparatus. We're gonna use a 10 pound rifle, titanium action, 6.5 caliber cartridge, shooting 153 grain bullet. So I hunt a lot off of a tripod. My favorite way is to clip into the anvil head. Not necessarily because it's the best uh, for accuracy or speed, but because it's easier to carry around. So I'll show you that real quick. Um, I will clip in like this, especially when we're coyote hunting at night, and I'll throw this over my shoulders and I'll walk around. And then if we see something, then we set the rifle down just like that and it's ready to go. So I'm not actually managing the interface between the rifle and the anvil head. We'll see how some of the other methods work, but it's not as easy to carry the two together and deploy them together. Yeah, I was really surprised how fast it was to clip in and make the transitions. I thought it would take a little more time than some of the other methods, but it went really quick. So for this, we're using a tack table with a bag on top of that tack table, but you could also put a bag directly on top of your head. So this time we shot off of a bag and the transition felt a little faster, a little smoother for me. Uh, but all in all, I thought it was about the same. Yeah, for me it was, um, it was about the same. I, I am thinking about the fact that we have to manage a separate piece of gear now because we have the rifle, the bag, and the tripod. But if you're spotting off of the bag, putting your binos directly on the bag, it allows you to just set them to the side and set your rifle right on top. So it might be kind of quick to do that. It took maybe a second longer to manage the bag to get it to settle down, but I felt like I could stop things a little, a little more close and a little more precise versus uh, out, of the, out of just clipping in, I felt like I was wobbling around a little more and I had to time a shot versus plan a shot. I couldn't hold that thing anywhere close. I couldn't stop it. And you know, you and I pull the triggers the instant it stops. So the take is for me, you and I are experienced shooters. We could time those shots and come close to hitting. But man, it was all over the place trying to slow that thing down. Yeah, and I think, you know, maybe if the mount had less rubber interface between the Arca mount and the pig saddle, it might have less wiggle, but it's still going to be less stable than the other two methods. But I, I would say there's one benefit, and that would be if the rifle had no ARCA and you didn't have a tack table and you're just trying to make something work, 
it's better than going out there and trying to shoot off of like trigger sticks or something, some type of, it's better than going out there and trying to shoot off of your trekking poles. Absolutely, absolutely. I'd say that you'd have to be careful with certain stocks as to how tight you tighten it up and whether you have an issue that way. But uh, I was surprised. I thought, I thought it'd shoot pretty well. Yeah. <laughs>